Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, we're going to run through the date hierarchy and how do we enable week number within the date hierarchy because often when we see in Power BI that in our hierarchy here, we only get to see year, quarter, month and day. We don't get to see the week number. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create that week number and also create the hierarchy within the day. So let's get started with this tutorial. The first thing that I will be doing is I'm going to create a column here. I'm going to click on these ellipses and click on new column. And then let's rename this column as week number is equals to and then I'm going to use the function which is called week num. Okay, open bracket and then it's asking us the to enter the date column here, which is going to be my order date. I'm going to select my order date and then comma and then the second argument here is return type, which is it is asking us whether it is whether your week is starting on a Sunday or on a Monday. If it is one, then it means that it is starting on a Sunday. If we select two, then it means that we're starting the week is starting on a Monday. So for now, I'm going to select as one because our week is starting starting on Sunday. So I'm going to press enter over here and a new column gets generated by week number. OK, so as you can see here, we now have a new column which is called as week number. OK, so now what we will do is we will get rid of this uh, order date field over here. And now if we go back to our order date field, which is over here, we will start adding the columns one by one instead of just pulling in the entire date uh, field over here. So we will add this one by one. The first is we want year. OK, and then we want the quarter, then we want the month and then we want the week number here. OK, and then let us add the day over here. Oops, let me add this over here. OK, we now have the day as well. So now let's quickly drill down and see what's happening. So I'll just click on right click, show next level and then we have quarters now. Let right click, show next level. We now have months, right click. And then uh, show next level, we now have weeks, okay? And then right click, show next level, we now have the days. So let's go up one level and take a look at the weeks over here. Uh, we can quickly go here to X axis and in, in type, we can change this to categorical or continuous, whatever that you would like. I think categorical would look better here in this case because it will give you details of all the weeks that we have instead of continuous, which has a different way of presenting the uh, data in the X axis. Let us select categorical here so that all of your val values are visible. And then if you want to play around with the axis, you can always do that. You can sort by week number or your total sales amount. Now it is currently sorted by uh, ascending or descending order of the week number. And then you can change here, sort axis, say ascending, and then you can play around with that however you would like. So I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.